Following breaking news out of Lakeview Terrace, a cow is on the loose. Yeah, let's go straight to Mark Kono. He's overhead in Sky 5. Mark. Well, yeah, have a look at this. I uh, don't know that it's breaking news, but it's just a cow on the loose here in the backyard or in the back parking lot of, uh, well, a set of businesses here right along Foothill Boulevard and Wheatland. Now, the cow, you know, there you go, a little bit active there, jumping over that uh, bush uh, or hedges there uh, into the parking lot here. Uh, we've got a couple of folks who are trying to get this guy wrangled, but uh, unfortunately, uh, no luck as of yet here. You know, uh, what brought this to everyone's attention was that this cow was actually on the freeway, the eastbound side of the 210 freeway from Osborne, and he walked apparently all the way over to Wheatland, made his way off on the off-ramp of Wheatland, went northbound on Wheatland and into this parking lot here. So there you go. Have a look at the cow. Uh, does not want to be taken, uh, well, into custody, I would say, but uh, there you go. A cow on the loose here uh, in the parking lot. Well, we have a couple of uh, what looks like uh, agents uh, coming close to him, and uh, you can see that doesn't want to be taken into custody. So uh, we'll see how he is able to fare, or she is able to fare over the next several minutes here. But uh, unless he's able to jump that wall, uh, it looks like at some point they will have to uh, <laughs> they will have to get this guy, and um, he'll have to uh, give up to his uh, <laughs> to the folks who are trying to take him into custody. So, Mark, guys, I, I, I don't <laughs> know if I missed it or not. Okay, but we're up here at uh, we're at 2,000, guys. I've got you coming in. Wondering where the yeah, cow came from. I know side. he possibly mentioned that, but it was at a, a private resident. Uh, well, I mean, there's it? possibly there's, a there are, I know there's, yard. there's a lot of horse properties around Lakeview Terrace, so I'm sure there's somebody's got cattle. Uh, but I can tell you right now. You know, two or three okay, police officers further. are not going to stop him. They they need they need a lasso. Yes. They need they need a couple of cowboys is what they need. That's exactly what they need. I mean, they've got him. <laughs> you could say they've got him corralled up against that wall, but um, you know, much like we see in your typical pursuit, he could easily get away from this because yes. uh, they're not going to tackle this guy. Well, the great thing around. is, is probably he's and there she goes. Yeah, might not be able to jump over the fence there, but maybe she'll just get tired. Uh, and they'll be able to. Uh, this uh, uh, de deputy has some type of rope, it looks like. But again, Glenn, you're so right. It's not going to, no. you know, just stop moving with a rope around its And neck. I'm just speaking from experience. I, yeah. You know. Well, also, you want the cow to be safe as well. Um, and so this is, you know, not necessarily a laughing matter. Um, also, too, these, this cow could go out in the road and and be hit or cause an accident as well. So uh, the deputy's really trying to uh, get this cow that's on the loose. Uh, let's see if we can see where is he in the little parking lot there. Yeah, this parking area. This may actually be a bull, which um, it is a bull. Yeah, OK. So that's even uh, harder to deal with than a cow. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we've, got, we've got a problem here. Fortunately, it doesn't look like there's any horns. So this is in uh, Lakeview Terrace. Um, Mark uh, Kono is above in Sky 5 and, and mentioned that uh, he possibly crossed a couple of uh, roads and ended up in this um, parking lot. So uh, this will be uh, not a normal occurrence for uh, deputies uh, no. every single day. So nothing they, they likely train for. <laughs> well, okay. Can, I, can we hear Mark? Is he trying to talk or is he just back in the distance? Hey, Mark. Aww. Well, I, with that, well, there you go, guys. Uh, what looks to us like animal control officers there yeah. are trying to uh, uh, kind of surround that bull or get that bull uh, trapped in a, a corner of the parking lot there. But I don't believe they're sheriff's deputies. They look like animal control officers to me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, have a look here. You know, as soon as they kind of make an approach to that poor bull uh, or cow, whatever it may be, I don't know the difference. But, uh, well, there you go. Uh, that cow or bull will make a run for it. And, uh run to a different area of the parking lot. Right now, uh, as best as I can tell, there is only one entrance and one exit out of this uh, particular parking lot here, and it looks to be blocked uh, by an animal control uh, vehicle and uh, another uh, LAPD vehicle, or perhaps that's CHP. At any rate, uh, eh, the chance is a little bit slim that the cow's actually going to get out, but I suppose there is a small chance that he could kind of squeeze through uh, given the fact that this guy looks pretty motivated to just uh, uh, not be captured there. But uh, you can see those two officers uh, trying to make an approach there as quietly, as calmly as they can. But, uh, well, the cow's not having any part of it. So, well, there you go. Uh, if you kind of move him in that direction, that's going to be towards the exit of the parking lot. So maybe that's not the most clever idea. But uh, there you go. Have a look at that. Um, uh, does that one guy have a rope, Rich? One guy in the top right, does he have a rope? Okay, he's got a rope. So maybe he's thinking that he's going to... Uh, 
wrangle that cow. Where's Rip, right? Oh, my goodness. Well, there you go. Guys. Mark, what, what you need here, I mean, they basically got them corralled in the parking lot thanks to the walls. What they need now is they need a, um, a livestock trailer. And then they can corral them and sort of force them into the trailer and take them back to wherever he came from. But uh, like we said, uh, two or three police officers or anybody from animal control, they are not... <laughs> They're not going to take this uh, this bull down. They're, they're, you just got you need to corral them and get them inside of a, a livestock okay. trailer. So. And Mark, you mentioned uh, when we came to you uh, where likely uh, this cow or bull came from. Did, can you repeat that? What was that? I'm sorry. You mentioned when we first came to you, like where likely where the cow or bull had crossed a couple of streets uh, from witnesses where it came from. Do you know? Is there like livestock around there, or is it a private residence, or do you? Have well, any what idea? brought it? What brought this to everyone's attention was uh, this cow was actually on the freeway here. Who knows where it came from? I just don't know. But uh, uh, it was reported to be walking on the freeway eastbound side of the 210 freeway from Osborne. So coming into the Lakeview Terrace. Uh, area right alongside the freeway there. So, uh, well, at some point, uh, he got off the freeway here between Osborne and Wheatland, came northbound on Wheatland, and right into the first uh, parking lot that uh, he was uh, faced with. And that's just at the intersection of Wheatland and Foothill Boulevard here. But uh, right now, you can see this cow does not want to be taken in, uh, well, does not want to be captured there. So uh, maybe he's thinking, uh, you know, who knows what's going through his mind. But at any rate, uh, you know, he is being uh, surrounded by. Okay, I've got you there. We're at 22. Uh, by officers and, uh, well, there you go, police officers there. And uh, the closer you move him into that direction, the closer he gets to the exit of the actual uh, parking lot. So maybe that's not what you want to do. It looks like he's making his way northbound over towards the front of the building here. I don't know that that's going to offer him uh, an exit. But uh, we'll see if he comes out here. But in the meantime, we can just kind of move a little bit north and see if he comes out the front of the building there but uh, you know they're doing their best they're doing their very oh, best no. to just try and keep him oh really? there you go now he's made his way onto Foothill Boulevard here so uh, there you go he's got a motor officer right behind him uh, but he's just kind of trotting along this time uh, now westbound on Foothill Boulevard from Wheatland and in the Lakeview Terrace area now he's in an area where there are uh, kind of ranch properties, uh, residences, and things like that. But you see that motor officer there just trying to kind of keep them corralled and uh, maybe uh, drive him into a property, drive him onto a piece of land there where they might be able to hopefully surround this guy. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, he's just not having it. And uh, as you can see, well, there you go. Maybe they've uh, driven him into a driveway of a residence there. And this is going to be on the north side, the north side of Foothill Boulevard here. You know, if they are uh, conceivably... Uh, able to get this guy into a lot or a backyard or something that, uh, you know, they might uh, be able to close the gate on him. Uh, you know, that might allow the owner of the cow to come and get him. But, uh, well, oh, there you there go. Okay. Is. Even as we speak. So, okay. Right. There you go. So hopefully that, uh, well, <laughs> allows the cow to be safely uh, Well, maybe he's captured. back where he belongs. Uh, yeah, maybe he went back to his home. Maybe. That's a great point. It's possible. It's possible, you know, Looks assuming like that uh, that uh, motor officer knew where uh, he was going. But uh, there you go. He's in the backyard of this ranch property here. And, uh, uh, well, as for now, he looks to be pretty content. We'll see, guys. You know how we always say that pursuit suspects always seem to head back into familiar territory. So maybe it's the same with the bull. Yeah, Interesting. You bet. Well, eventually he's going to get tired. He's been running much more than he often does, probably. So oh hopefully he's gosh. back where he's supposed to be, and there's no exit where he continues no, to run. <laughs> well, yeah. If, if it if he doesn't belong uh, to the owner of this property, at least he's contained. So when they find out who the owner is, they can come and pick him up, put him yeah. in a livestock trailer, and take him back to wherever he belongs. But maybe he belongs here. We just don't know. Oh, and there are other, oh, there's some other livestock. livestock there. Okay, so he's in there with the gate. Okay. He's fine. Is that is that goats, though, or is that... No. Yeah, it looks like some goats. Yeah, okay. Okay, no sweat. That might not be a good I've combination. They, they all get along. Hopefully they're, hopefully they're familiar with one another, but maybe not from the way they're acting, but usually the livestock all get along, the goats and the cows and the pigs. So, again, this is Lakeview Terrace, a cow on the loose, uh, a bull, uh, we're presuming, um, but we don't know 100%. But uh, he was out uh, running on a, a freeway, ended up going into a parking lot, and 
uh, LA or animal control trying to uh, capture him or her at that time and he snuck around the back alley and got back onto the street and then one of the uh, deputies on a motorbike uh, got him wow <laughs> got him into a uh, property they closed the gate back so it looks like at least he's in an area a gated area where he's not going to get back on the road because that's the dangerous area but he seems he definitely seems a little nervous imagine oh. there are helicopters out there and you know, you know if a helicopter's over your house you know how incredibly yeah. loud it is and especially if this is not a familiar territory for him but at least he's safe and not on the road all right, again, we got a bull on the loose in Lakeview Terrace uh, contained uh, in a backyard. Maybe he belongs here, maybe he doesn't. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back.